How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be looking at how you can make tons of money in New World by using your faction tokens. But before we get into that, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel, it helps out massively. Now, let's get into it. If you're anything like me, you'll be doing your three faction missions every day with the gypsum, bonus rewards, and free money. This is a great habit to keep, but if you're doing this in a high enough zone, you'll be earning more than you spend and eventually, you'll be hitting the faction token limit of 75,000. Because of this, I decided to look into the most profitable ways to spend these tokens to always keep me under the limit so I'm not wasting my tokens and make some money at the same time. The first method I looked into was the Masterwork Material Converters method. Let's start off by looking at how much you can make if you convert crafting regions via the Masterwork Material Converters. I'll be calculating the profits off of the prices on my server, but to be the most profitable on your server, you'll want to look at all the regions listed on screen and find their price on your server. Most of the time you already have tons of the cheap ones that you can just convert to maximize profit, but in case you don't, I will include in my profit numbers if you were to buy them before converting. You want to place a buy order for however much you want of the cheapest region. For me, a couple different ones were already listed for the lowest possible price of 0.01, so I just used buy now instead of making a buy order. But if none are that low on your server, you can place a buy order to maximize profits. Then you want to find out which sells for the most. And in my server, that was the age tannin for 0.24 coins per. After that, you will want to head over to the crafting station associated with that region. Make sure you select the right refining material and convert it over to the more expensive version. You will only get back 15 for every 20 you convert, but even still, you'll make a profit with this method. To test the numbers, I purchased 1000 pure solvents for 10.37 coins, including trading fees. Then, I spent 5,000 of my faction tokens to obtain 50 masterwork material converters. Converting all of the pure solvent into 750H tannin cost me another 20.4 coins in the crafting tax. And then, listing them all up on the market cost another 3.6 coins. That means to buy and convert all of these resources, I spent 34.37 coins. But I managed to sell my H tannin via a trade order for 0.24 per, making me 172.5 coins. That's a profit of 138.13 coins per 5,000 faction tokens. Not bad for very little work. Plus I got 10k free tanning experience as well. If you take into account that the experience can give you levels and aptitude grades, what you gain from opening them is just even more profit. The masterwork material converters is for sure a viable method on my server, and my go-to method for when I'm close to hitting token cap. Now, let's look into chunks of consecrated iron. Each one will cost you 3,000 faction tokens and 10 coins to buy from the faction vendor. I can sell one on my server for 89 coins via a sell order, with a 2 coin listing fee. Taking into account the 10 spent at the faction vendor, that's a profit of 72 coins per 3,000 faction tokens, which again, is a pretty viable method and takes little to no effort at all. If you can sell them for more on your server, that's even better, but make sure to check prices before you start this method, because on some servers it might not be profitable. Following the same theme as the chunks of consecrated iron, you could also do the same thing with gem setting pins. On my server, I cannot make profit off of this item, but if you check prices on yours, and it sells for over 100 coins each, then everything over that is pure profit. The cost for one of these from the faction vendor is 100 coins and 300 faction tokens, so it's worth looking into if this or the chunks of iron is more of a bang for your buck. Similar to the previous two items, you can also buy and sell your faction die. This method has a few more variables though, since you can only buy the color of the faction you are in. On my server, there's no profit margins on any of these dies, but I checked on my alt, and on that server, I've seen around 60 to 300 coins of profit per die, with the twine being the most profitable. You would need to do the math on your server though. Simply look at the price of either twine, tarnished jade, or burnished lilac, based on which faction you are in, and then minus 100 coins from that, and you will know how much profit you can make per. They also cost 300 faction tokens per, so keep that in mind. These will probably take a lot longer to sell via sell orders than the previous two items though. Even if you can't make a profit on them now, it could be worth a long term profit play to buy now and hold on to them for when the transmog system comes out, because I can see dyes getting a massive increase in value when that happens, because people will be running around in more dyed gear instead of just skins. And the final method we're going to be taking a look at is the runes of holding method. On my server, there's little to no profit to be made off of these, but I have seen on the forums that this is pretty viable for most servers, and that's also the case on my alt server. So I'll put together some profit numbers from that server. For the minor rune of holding, you need to spend 250 coins and 1000 faction tokens. 
but based on selling prices, there's no profit to be made for this one. But if you can sell one for anything over 250 on your server, there's money to be made here. Next up is the Major Rune of Holding, which you can pick up for 500 gold and 3000 faction tokens. This sells for roughly 640 gold after fees, so you can get yourself around 140 coins worth of profit for 3000 faction tokens, which isn't bad. The Greater Rune of Holding you can get for 1000 coins and 5000 faction tokens. This sells for roughly 1400 for a profit of 400 coins per 5000 faction tokens. Hopefully more on your server. And then, finally, the Grand Rune of Holding. You can pick this up for 1500 gold and 7000 faction tokens, and you can sell it for around 2000 gold, giving you a profit of 500 gold per 7000 faction tokens. Based on these numbers, I would avoid the minor and stick with the greater and grand if I was looking to make a profit off of this method. But again, look at prices before starting this method. But that about covers all the ways you can earn some extra coins off of your faction tokens. Hopefully this can help some of you out and you will no longer have to worry about hitting faction token limit. My favorite method is the masterwork method mentioned at the beginning of the video because of the added experience you gain. But maybe some of the other methods will be more profitable on your server, so do your research, play around with all the methods a bit and find out which one works best for you. If this was helpful to you, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel with notifications on to be notified when the next money maker is up. But until next time, have a good one. Thanks for watching another video. If you'd like to check out another money making method, click on the video to the left. Or if you'd like to see any other New World related content, click on the video to the right. And don't forget to subscribe.